guys and welcome back to my channel and in this episode it's going to be a quick uh, episode just to show you uh, two more tools uh, that are that I constantly use and um, they're going to be uh, some of my favorites and I want to do some of these videos where I show just show as I'm learning Blender I want to show videos of the tools that I keep using uh, every time I work on something and so the previous episode I showed three of my favorite tools and in this episode I want to show you two um, two uh, things that you could do in Blender to help you uh, speed your process and also uh, model uh, something uh, fairly quick and so let's start with the first one and I'm actually gonna get into uh, a 3d kit here and uh, let's get let's actually select this one and I'm gonna hide everything by pressing shift H and I just have this little um, column here now if I go to edit mode um, let's actually go to my normal version uh, I have all these uh, this few crevices here and different uh, types of faces that are facing in different directions right so when I'm texturing and when I apply the texture um, sometimes I want to do a project uh, from view um, uh, option for my texture so I, co I covered that on the previous episode where I just uh, select the face and I, I have it on my quick favorites um, if you don't have it you can go to UV and then project from view and it, project it, it, pro it will project the texture from the camera or the view that you have selected right so in this case I'm here on the side view and I'll go here I have it on my quick favorites so I'll project from view and it will project the texture like that right so in a case like this sometimes i want to do that project from view to all the faces that are facing on the same direction and so usually you go here and click and then click and click right and this is a pretty simple uh mesh i'm gonna select this one as well but i have one two three four five faces selected right and um if i want to save time I actually I could go to the opposite section uh, which is pretty much to the other side and do the same thing one two three four and five right and now I go to my side view and project from view right and I do that but uh, what if there was an easier way to select all those without having to click um, and there is and sometimes you want to do that because the mesh is a little bit more complex or you have instead of five faces you have 20 per side or 30 or whatever and so um, it will take a long time to select each one individually. So what I do is, uh, what I like to select is select by normals. And what that does is uh, it select all the faces that share the same normals. Pretty much select all the faces that are facing the same direction. And so I already have that on my quick favorites uh, here in normals, right? But if you want to find it, you go to... You have to be in edit mode and you go to select select similar or shift g and then normal right and what that does is it will select all the faces that share the same normal or are facing in the same direction and now i go to this side do the same thing and boom super easy and quick and so if i want to apply the texture project from view and there we have it now if i want to do that for the ones that are facing down, normal, and it selects everything, all the faces that are facing down. And this one didn't select because I actually have a little slant on here. And so I'll do the same thing for the ones facing up, which is the opposite direction. Select one, normal, and same thing happens here with the slant. And so I go to my top view and then project from view and there we have it so um, I have it on my quick favorites because it's just so much easier to select things and just apply the textures all right and so that's the first one now the second one let's go to an empty file here and this is a great way that I've been using uh, recently actually to create trees uh, very easy way and so what you want to do first and I mean you could also get like 
all these different 3D assets that you can buy for trees and or use the uh, tree add-on. But I think that to have something a little bit more unique, this is a good way uh, to do it. And if you know any other ways, uh, please let me know because I'm always looking for ways to improve my workflow. But I think for creating your own trees, I think this is a great, great tool. So what I want to do first is create a cube. And what I want to do is actually go to edit mode and select all my vertices uh, by pressing A and then right click merge vertices as center. So I only have pretty much one vertice right there, right? And without leaving the edit mode, I want to extrude by pressing E and I'm going to extrude that vertice and I'm going to press Z to go up. And pretty much what I created is I have two vertices on each end, one in each end and then an edge, right? And so once I have that, I want to go to my modifiers and apply skin and go to my modifiers and apply subdivision surfaces. And I want to keep this fairly low. So I want to keep that on one. I'll do that one in render. And I have this right here, right? So the cool thing about this is that if I go to my X-ray uh, version, which is this little button, or uh, if you press Alt uh, A, I'm sorry, Alt Z, you go to this X-ray uh, mode, and I want to go to Edit mode, and here I see my my two vertices and my edge, and I'm only gonna play with my vertices. So what I want to do, I want to select this one. And I'm going to press, I'm going to be using a lot E for extrusion to do this. And then control A to resize uh, my vertice, right? So what I want to do is I actually want to select this one, the one on the bottom as the base of my tree, and then control A to resize. And I'm going to move that down a little bit, pressing G and just press down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just going to extrude, just going to roughly do this, but that way you will get the idea. And so control A for resizing, extruding again, control A for resizing. So I'm going to rough this up. So I could actually go to this one in the middle, press E again and just extrude from there. Control A for resizing. Control A for resizing. Pressing E again for extrusion. And so let's say I want to take a branch out of here in the middle. So what I will do is, since I don't have a vertice today, I also like the two this still right here, right click subdivide and it will create a new vertice right in the middle. Now I could bump this up to create two, right? Um, but you can play with that however you want to. And then you can, you know, you can maybe move this a little bit and then you can extra from there. Let's make that a little bit smaller. Just go up here, there. It's like getting a tree. And then maybe I want to take some roots out of here. Um, so maybe I'll extrude from here, extrude again. So it has some big roots. Let's subdivide these two right here. Subdivide. Let's extrude. Resize. Okay, so the cool thing about this, something that I really love about this is that, let's say, I want to add just a bunch of more more branches to this. What I can do is, let's say I also like all these, and I shift D to duplicate. What that does is just going to give me uh, pretty much the vertices or and the edges in there. But right now it doesn't have the, modis the modifiers on top because... Uh, 
it's not linked. So what I'll do is actually say like this, and I'm gonna just rotate it a bit, maybe scale that, just move that here and there. So now they're all part of the same object. But what I want to do is let's say this is my base for this, and I want to attach it maybe to here. So I'll select both of them and I press F for fill and it will fill up that space and then I'll have that, which I think is super cool. And then I can play with the with the placement and size of my new uh, branches. And so little by little I can literally start making trees that are um, unique in the purpose that I need them for. So I recently did a project, or I was working on a project that I needed some very specific type of shape of trees. And you know, some of the ones that I already have, just uh, they, they, they just didn't work because they were just normal trees. And so I used this technique to create um, uh, those trees with like weird roots and you know, going um, all over the place and stuff. So uh, I think it's a very way to have a little bit more control on the shape. And to be honest, it's not really that um, high poly. It's pretty low poly. Um, and I think it works for, um, you know, for the purpose that, you know, if you want to have just background trees or just some low poly trees to then paint over or something, you know, you can just keep the subdivision levels really low, apply a nice texture to it. And if you want to have this placement on it, then just pop up that subdivision and apply it to it. But, um, you know, I think you have a lot more control over uh, what you create uh, with this technique. All right. Well, I hope that helps. And uh, let me know if you guys, uh, you know, have any more tips about creating or, or, or optimizing your workflow. I would love to hear about it. And if you have any questions, let me know. And I'll see you guys on the next one.